but why didn't you tell me they have storms at sea? Why, eh? Gus, uh, you're not even supposed to be on this ship. You're uh, a stowaway, remember? Oh, uh, this wouldn't happen if I was in charge. It would not. Uh, well, you're not, thank goodness. Uh, I'll complain to the captain this very, very minute. I oh, will. Gus, uh, stop. Come back. Oh, I hope he remembers he's a stowaway before he gets too far. Hey, I think the storm's over. And there's Mr. Squiggle's rocket. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you made it through the storm, Rocket. You all right, Mr. Squiggle? Oh, I, I, I think so, Rebecca. Although Doormat did have a storm in his teacup this morning for breakfast. <laughs> and, and I think it got away. Well, I'm glad that's all it was, Mr. Squiggle. Now, why don't we celebrate with a squiggle? Why not, Rebecca? Okay. Why not? Why not? All right. And hurry up. Oh, I thought I was going to be quick enough that time, Mr. Squiggle. Nearly. Now, Mr. Squiggle, this yes. squiggle comes mm -hmm. from Amy Foster, who lives in Kingston in Tasmania. How's that? Um, is it a boat? Uh, not quite, Rebecca. Oh, um, is it going to be a giraffe? Not quite, Rebecca. Oh, I wonder if Amy knows what it is. Of course she does. Do you know what it is? Mm-hmm. Um, oh, is it a bird, Mr. Smith? It's a bird. Oh, what sort of bird? Well, I can't tell a lie, Rebecca. Oh, is it a lyre bird? That's it. And he's playing a tune on his tail. Oh. <laughs> he's always harping on something. Oh, yes. This time it's his tail. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure he's a very honest liar, but... <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. OK, In Mr. Swiggle. hurry up. All right, Blackboard. <laughs> you ready for this one? Oh, 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 Rebecca, I have to keep my distance. <laughs> it's a wild squiggle, isn't it? it? It's very catching. Now, it comes from Tamara and Sandia Fenton, who live in Singleton Heights in New South Wales. Ah. Wow, it is a wild, wild squiggle. It's tricky. All those crosses and dots and all sorts of things. Yes, indeed. I wonder what you will make of this. Ah. Oh, it's got a tail like a fish. Uh -huh. Is it a big whale? It's a whale who oh. can't go to school. Why can't he go to school? He's got measles. Oh, no, that mm. he must be sad. Very sad. He's got his lunch over there. A, sa a sardine sandwich. <laughs> Upside down. Upside down. Upside down. But his measles will get better soon, won't they, Mr. Swiggle? Oh, I hope so, Rebecca. But we better keep our distance <gasps> in case it's catching. In case it's catching? OK, well, I'll put him away then down here so yes, he can gone. recuperate. <laughs> OK. Nice view up here, oh, Rebecca. it is, Mr. Swiggle. Yes, I feel all at sea. <laughs> look, but look at this view, <gasps> Mr. Swiggle. Tricky. Now, this squiggle comes from Kayla Perth who lives in Parafield Gardens in South Australia. Ah. Is it an octopus, Mr. Swiggle? Not quite, Rebecca. Oh, I thought there might have been some legs. Um, ah. There? Um, oh, are they antennas up the top, maybe? N not no. quite, Rebecca. Are they feet? Ah, uh, well... Oh, man, I well... must... I've got to get something, right? There it is, Rebecca. It's oh, a so... big beaked yo-yo bird. <gasps> Playing, wow. uh, using the yo-yo as a football, you see. He, oh. And, and the yo-yo gets quite a kick out of it. Oh, he certainly mm -hmm. does. That's <laughs> a great squiggle, Mr. Squiggle. Oh, oh it's oh. time to go, Rebecca. Time oh, but to Mr. go. Mr. Squiggle, why don't you stay down here for a while? Because, you know, just in case Dormat has any more storms in his teacup for you. Rebecca, what a wonderful idea. And we could have lots and lots of afternoon tea in teacups until tea time with no storms in any of them. How's that, Rebecca? Mr. Squiggle, you have the most wonderful uh, ideas. Rebecca, you say the nicest things. <laughs>